Oh, he was, he was amazing. Was a funny thing about, uh, about Yag. So we'd go out for practice and this is my first couple of practices with the team just getting called up. Right. So I'd go out there and we, everybody gets called over to the board. Tom Rennie's the coach at the time. So he's sitting there drawn on the board and I, I look over to my right and Sh- or, uh, Yager's sitting on the bench, his chin straps undone, looking completely the other way that not paying attention to the drill at all. Right. And he's drinking <laughs> out of this, this water bottle and I see stuff hanging out of the water bottle. I'm like, what the hell is that? Right. So that goes on it drill starts and I go over and I kind of look at his water bottle. Still a young guy. I don't want anybody to see I'm doing it. Right. And he's got tea bags in his water. Right. So he's drinking hot tea sitting on the bench as the coach is going over drills. And I'm like, what is going on here? But that's, that's how he ran. And <laughs> you, know, you, you never really seen him in practice either. Like, you know, go hard or, you know, really, really hard or, you know, full out. And I always thought to myself, what's going on? And I talked to a couple of guys. I'm like, you know, what's, what's going on with the ox? He's like, well, when we're all done here and we all go back to the city, he drives back at nighttime. They open up the training center for him. He practices by himself. He works out by himself. And that's when he gets his real work in. And I was like, holy shit, you know, all the things that he's accomplished and he's still going back to the rink at nine o'clock at night and working out. It's, it's pretty nuts. I heard so. stories when Yager was younger, like, he'd do like a thousand squats a day. Like there were, there were just like old stories about him all, all from where you grew up. Like people must've known so many different yeah, things. hundred, hundred pushups, thousand squats a day. So that's he legit. Was doing, yeah. Yeah. His dad was, uh, you know, I think one time he was telling him that if he do that, he's going to buy him new skates. So he started training and he actually did it. So, uh, that's awesome. I tried to do it one time when I was like 11 <laughs> or 10, uh, I passed the fuck out by like seven, <laughs> by seven thirty. So I was like, fuck this. Like, <laughs> It's yeah, not yeah. worth it. Yeah. Well, uh, so say the one with the axe. <laughs> so we were neighbors my first year here, right? I live on a second floor. He lives on a third floor. So I showed up at 2.30 a.m. from the bar with one of my ex-teammates and two girls. We show up in my place. I turn on the music, right? Pretty loud. So then I hear, you know, from above, just stepping on the ground. Shut the fuck up, right? <laughs> so I turn it down a little bit. So we keep going. It's like 3, 3.15. And then I see Yags walking into my apartment with a hat, running sneakers, shorts, and a jacket. You know, and I'm buckled, right? <laughs> like it's 3.15, I'm buckled, we have a day off the next day. I'm looking at him, I was like, oh, where are you going, Yags? He was like, oh, I gotta go for a run. So he's like famous of working, you know, like whenever he- Of course. Goes. So I was like, all right, well, you know, this guy's fucking 40. It's 3.15, I'm buckled, he's going for a fucking run. Go figure, right? <laughs> 